Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering my first proper review of a Ben Rummock. And this week, we've got the vintage 2012 cask strength batch number one. Now, I have technically covered a Ben Rummock before, uh, but that was actually part of a uh, an advent calendar, and it was like in 2021 or something like that, and it was like an older version of this cask strength one. Um, so yeah, I haven't covered them before, but these guys have been through a bit of dare I say flux over the last few years they've changed their entire livery they've done a kind of complete complete rebrand to this kind of new kind of blocky there you go new kind of blocky uh, font or whatever um, they used to have this lovely kind of elegant style writing on the front of it and and whatever I think it, I, I personally think that it used to really differentiate themselves from the rest of the market and that this new kind of design doesn't differentiate themselves anymore but I have to say I don't mind it I don't mind it at all and you know whether you can consider it the uh, the actual liveries or not I've ended up buying a bottle of it so read into that how you please but uh, yeah don't really care about the rebound too much these guys have been around for well what does it say 1898 so the distillery's been around for a long time um, I don't blame them for trying something different basically you know if they believe that their numbers aren't high enough you've got to try something different that's just how business works. So yeah, basically, I want to know what you think about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the the, the design change. Um, but we're not here to talk about that too much today. Let's talk about the liquid. Now, before I get into the actual bottle itself, I want to tell you a little bit of a story about how I got this because, you know, often, obviously, you know, you guys know when you're buying whiskey, you will just pick something up that interests you. But um, this is a particularly good story because it's community led and led me to buy a bottle based off it. Now on my Discord channel, in case you didn't know I've got a Discord channel, I'll endeavour to drop a link below to let you guys know about how to join that, um, but it's a kind of private whiskey focused Discord channel. And one of the guys on there set up a blind tasting for a few of us. Um, something that we try to do occasionally, obviously we can't do it for everybody involved because this would just be too many, so people tend to organise little pockets between themselves. But um, what he did was he organised this blind tasting. He bought four bottles or so uh, from Tinterwebs or wherever and sent us a few samples to let us know what we think. We did it all together. We did it on video chat and whatnot. Um, and as we went through, uh, we were enjoying it. He, he intentionally picked whiskies that uh, were going to be you know, of interest to him at least. When this popped up, I just remember being utterly astounded by it. And when we were waiting for the reveal of it, the first thing that came out was how much this this cost, which at the time was 60 quid. I think this might have sold out in some places, but it goes to around that 60 quid mark. And basically, I said to him, if, if I find out what this is, I'm going to buy a bottle that day. And I did. Now, I've been sitting on this for a while. Um, you know what I do. You know, my review queue sits down here somewhere out of shot, and I just cover whatever I fancy covering. But the reason why I've decided to cover it today is because, uh, as you might have seen, I just did my big, the big video, the big kind of entire collection video. And I said in that, uh, let me know which ones you want me to cover out of the I haven't covered it yet section. And this one was the one that was voted for the most. So, you know, if you haven't watched that video yet, please do go and check it out. It's a good fun video and uh, you can have your say about what I'll cover next in the comments below on that. So, yeah, that's why I'm covering it today. Bit of a long-winded start to this this video, but you know when you've got something interesting to say about a bottle, why not? Um, we'll get into the tasting in just a moment. But one of the things I don't usually do, which I'm going to do today, is draw attention to the label information because this one has actually a lot of good information that's kind of around all of the guff that's there. Um, if I bring the bottle back up again, I mean obviously you know here you can see look there's loads of writing on there. A lot of it is just marketing gumph, but there's a couple of key bits of information that are important. Obviously, first is the name, Vintage 2012, Cask Strength Batch 1, but doesn't tell us the full picture. What we have down the side here is bottled, distilled 2012, bottled 2022, so obviously we can infer at least 9 or 10 years old based on the month. We don't know when that was, so, you know, a good age. Key, More key information here, non-chill filtered, natural coloured, and then ju just underneath it we've got bottle bottling of 30 casks so you can have a guess about how many bottles there are of this in the world probably not that many um, an abv of 60.2 and then finally exclusively first fill cask matured which is important now um 
no more information than that. But if you go on the website, you can find out that they uh, this is ex bourbon and ex sherry cask. So you know nothing too outrageous. Um, also, there's some information about smokiness on there, but it isn't like high on the smoky thing anyway. But whatever. Let's get into the actual whiskey and see what we've got. Um, only a wee bit in the glass today, but you can see this has got a beautiful colour to it. I love talking about colour when it's on the label, and I keep saying this over and over again. You know, all right, fine. They might put this information on the on the website or whatever, but if it's not on the bottle, that's what I try to review for you guys. I try to review the bottle as is. So as it's delivered, as it's put on the shelf, whatever. And I just don't understand why manufacturers don't put non-chill filtered natural colour on the bottle if it is. It's just, you know, it's a simple one. So I mean, based entirely on that, you can just infer that if it doesn't have it on there, then it must be, uh, it must be kind of added colour and it must be chill filtered, which isn't always the case because sometimes it isn't those things bit of a mini rant in the middle of this but yeah basically it annoys me that it's not on the label when they go on the website oh yeah but it's non-chill filtered whatever get it on the label my god get it on the label anyway so i do like talking about the color when i can and it is a lovely beautiful color let's get on to the nose and see what we've got now the one thing i do love about this is that i mean look this is genuinely my first jam of the day, but obviously I've done my tasting notes prior to the video, but still, I get my nose right in there. That 60% is not in your face. It's not destroying your nostrils. It's not, uh, it's just a beautiful nose, but it's just a, a nicely sedate on the ABV. For me, there's not a whole heap of smoke. There's a slightly detectable amount of smoke, but again, that's coming from a peat drinker. So you, um, you know, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. If you're not into in kind of peaty flavors, then you might get a little bit more on the nose than me. But I can smell some deep tannins here, some extra wood. You know, the cask influence is really coming through. And almost like a kind of pine cone element to it. It's almost like walking it's like walking in the forest a little bit, which is, I don't know, a bit of a, a bit of a tasting note. But yeah, they, they do come out eventually sometimes. Yeah, it's just it's just like, it's very like kind of pine cone -y, nutty, that kind of thing. Really nice, really nice. Let's try on the palette. Mm. Oh, there's so much to unpick here that it would be a massive injustice if you tried to pull tasting notes out like this on camera while it was while it was rolling. This is one of those ones you have to explore. And like I say, you know, I mean, a little bit of behind the scenes for you, but I mean, you can see I've been drinking this. So, um, you know, I, I tend to make notes over several sittings. And then when I do my video to you guys, I kind of like pick through what I want to say. So... From here, uh, you know, this is a really interesting dram on, on the on the on the palette because it's it's there's some elements of the nose to it, but it really transforms, and it starts out there's just a little bit of fruit in there. You know, we're talking not it's not sweet, it's just a little bit fruity. But that's just followed by that kind of waft of smoke. It's almost like a kind of layer of smoke kind of rolling over your tongue, which is really nice. But here's the interesting part, is that during that kind of transition between those two flavours, the ABV is kind of like snowballing, right? So it's like, it doesn't just go 60%. It goes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm really here. And then it builds and builds and builds. So you kind of, you never get that kind of like choke of ABV that you might get otherwise. Now, again, I'm a big fan of car strength whiskey. So if that isn't your bag, I'm not saying run straight out and get this. But I am kind of also saying that because it is really good. Now, in terms of the finish, it's huge and long and sweet and smoky. Finishes out in a kind of sweet wood. You know, often I talk about sour notes. That's not happening here. This is very sweet and moorish. So, yeah, I am going to have another one while I'm still talking. Yeah. And it's like, this is one of those drums where it's taken me a while to cover it. Because I kind of like, I want to do it justice. I want to do it justice. I want to find the right notes to bring out. I don't just want to bring to you another video. It's like, yeah, caramels, vanillas, whatever. They're all in there. You know, it's a space side whiskey. You know, you can taste some apples and pears and whatnot. For me, it's about an experience. And that's what this brings in spades. Now, I've had this hidden at the back of my shelf for months, trying to find the right moment to record it. And now you guys in the comment section on another video have prompted me to do so. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now, because if I put this on my shelf... I'm going to drink this really quick 
because it's just so good. Um, it's it, genuinely really good. And it's really put Ben Romick back on the map for me, even though obviously I haven't covered it in six years. But now I'm going to have to look at trying some other stuff. I mean, especially when the next batch of this comes out, you know, if there's a if there's one coming out this year, then I'll be well into that. I'll have to get that, no doubt. But, okay, I think we've been going on about it enough. You guys clearly know that I enjoy this. Um, well worth every penny of the 60 quid I spent on it. Um, and I imagine that anyone who's into even slightly smoky whiskey, cast drink whiskey, scotch in general, there's, I, thought, I, I can't imagine there aren't, there are going to be many people that don't like this. You know, 60 quid is a lot of money, but it also really in the scotch worlds these days, it kind of isn't as well. So if you're used to spending that sort of money, give it a go if you can find it. It's on the Ben Romick website now. It used to be on Master Mail, it isn't anymore. Um, but yeah, stick it into Google, see what you can find. Hopefully you can find it worldwide as well because one of those whiskies. Thanks again for watching this slightly more extended video. A bit more to say about this one than usual. Hopefully you've watched my collection video. If not, please do go check back and check that one out because it's, uh, it's a really good one. Really enjoy making that. And I'll see you again on more No Nonsense Whiskey videos. Cheers. Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is VMPF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering my first ever Ben Romuk. Now, oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it.